натиснути. О, так, прекрасно. О. Зірка впала. Можна загадувати бажання. Наша зірка Джоел. Good afternoon. We announce press conference dedicated to the uh, summing up of the competition people and war. Uh, I am a journalist uh, and uh, I will be moderating this event. I will be tell you about the platform Storymaker and about who helped us with this initiative. Storymaker is the platform for education civil journalists. These are people who do not uh, suspect that they are such type of journalists, but technologies go forward. Uh, many of you have the Facebook, and in Facebook, one of the trends is video content. They support organic audience for streams and videos, because they are planning to compete with such platforms as YouTube. Uh, a lot of money on Facebook a channel to support your own content. And that is why there's a big request for making this content correctly so that people who watch your video understand what's happening so that they hear nice sound, have nice light, there's no overburden with the sunlight, and so that the wind doesn't um, spoil this uh, all. There are certain things which are in the textbooks for journalists, uh, and thanks to that we can make a content of high quality. Besides that, the story maker teaches us critical thinking, the standards of journalism. Unfortunately, now our country is in conditions when we have to provide unbiased information to inform the uh, world, why story making is so important in Ukraine? Because this platform is uh, unfortunately popular in the countries where the military actions are taking place. We understand that the interests of military exclude the, the objective coverage of the events, but people who live in Ukraine, who witness certain events, can rebroadcast them as the direct source of information. And Storymaker is concentrated on two things, to correctly explain how to technically record it and how to do it ideologically correctly so that you uh, meet high standards of journalism so that you do not add your subjective understanding, but at the same time to give you a clear understanding of the events. I would like the participant of our conference, the re uh, uh, representative of Charitable Trust, uh, Joel Raymond Gomery, tell us uh, why your organization helped us in having story making in Ukraine. Development uh, Charitable Trust is a family trust that was established by a former business partner and a uh, friend of mine, uh, John de Blasio. Joel, I ask you to make a little pause for you to record. Please make a uh, Please speak slower. Just speak a little bit slower because Ukrainian is 30% longer than uh, English. The uh, trust was established uh, in the belief that uh, the best guarantee for uh, development in societies threatened by conflict is a uh, vigorous democratic civil society. Who is using this simultaneous? Okay. Uh, most of our work uh, in uh, Ukraine is focused on uh, the Donbass and supporting uh, active citizens and independent media uh, in the uh, ability to uh, create content and express themselves about topics that are important to them and not necessarily topics that are driven by big media agenda. 
in that uh, vein of uh, support. Uh, we're very happy to be uh, part of the uh, Storymaker project uh, and provide uh, financial support uh, to uh, the development of the smartphone app uh, and the uh, training uh, materials, uh, as well as uh, supporting the distribution of content created uh, through the program. So we're very happy to uh, have the opportunity to support the program and to be here today to support the winners of the contest that we'll be talking about in a few minutes. Thank you. That's uh, Joel Raymond Comrie. He's the representative of Global Peace Development Charitable Trust. And now I would like to invite uh, the representative of Ostrif Agency, which is uh, the leading information agency in Donbass, Sergei Garmash. I would like to thank uh, the participants of the project, the organizers of the project. When it started, I did not understand what is uh, this uh, type of journalism. I believe that uh, the Facebook uh, makes a person irresponsible, the person who writes uh, something. Traditional mass media make you responsible for the content. But when the project started developing, when I saw the works of the participants, of the competitors, I believed, uh, I understood that that's what we lacked. Because first of all, we have mass media in the market, but there's no money for journalists, especially in the territories close to the uh, front zone. And we don't have the complete picture of the world. Uh, and that is why the features that people who are unbiased at, the people who are there, uh, those who record some event that's very important and this combination of professional journalism and uh, civil uh, journalism creates uh, a full picture of the world and that's what we lack today and that is uh, uh, something that uh, gives us a chance to get information from the areas we have, we have no correspondence of our own. And I'm very much interested in the development of this project. I thank since uh, the organizers, I thank the competitors, because when I uh, saw their works, uh, that was something very uh, good. Uh, I will be happy if the project continues and if such competitions continue. Sergei Garmash Information Agency, Ostrov. I would like to remind you that these were the first information partners of Storymaker. Thank you for that. Now I would like to give the floor to Olena Tanasichuk. Olena is known as the uh, head of the jury of the competition, People and War, and is the head of the Open University for Chernivtsi Adults, and they are partners of the competition, People and War. Good afternoon to everyone. I am happy to welcome you all. I would like to say that because the competition of short video stories, People and War, was the first one, uh, it was especially uh, nice to get such a big feedback from activists, from civil journalists, from volunteers, from students who just want to become the civil journalists who are just making first steps and from professional journalists. And uh, uh, we ask to tell the stories about people who suddenly found themselves face-to-face uh, -face with the war. They had to leave everything that they had there. They had to look for the refuge in some other places in Ukraine. Some would go back. Some probably supports uh, um, or keeps uh, contacts with the occupied territories, and some just left forever. And uh, because this topic was so um, delicate, uh, the professional, it was very difficult for the professional jury to uh, 
elect the or, or to uh, understand who's the winner. I was uh, crying because these were very simple things which were made without uh, any additional uh, decorations, so to say. Without anything that we uh, see in professional journalism, these were very uh, deep uh, and very sincere things. And it was nice uh, that uh, the geography of the competition is so large. We received the works from different parts of Ukraine. One of our works, uh, the winner of the competition, united two co-authors from Ternopil and Donetsk, from the West and the East. There were works presented from journally, from Chernivtsi, from Odessa, from Lviv, Ternopil, Donetsk, Lugansk. The territory covered uh, is uh, the whole of Ukraine. And I would like also to say that uh, The competition received the big support from the Department of Journalism of uh, Odessa Law Academy. We received many works from the students of Odessa Law Academy and also our Open University for Adults uh, supported it because it gives the chance to everyone, irrespective of what uh, age you are of, uh, um, but you can become the civil jo journalist if you uh, have your own uh, position as a uh, citizen, you can uh, present it. So the professional jury has uh, made its decision, and it's a nice that uh, the users of internet uh, were able also to vote, and now we can hear those who won in our competition. And now we will announce the winners of the competition, People and War, from Storymaker. The first prize in this competition is given to the story, what's behind the scared glance and the first one and the first place is also shared by another video uh, from people from Chernivtsi Now we'll get concentrated on first uh, uh, place. Uh, now uh, there were um, there are the winners uh, uh, of uh, this competition among the professional journalists. Uh, the professionals also participated in the competition. And that is uh, very good. So the winners of uh, among the professional journalists, uh, the story, the uh, IDPs are not just without houses, but without the uh, their voice. Uh, and another video when you learn how to live differently, and that is TV channel Zik from Lviv. The winner of online voting on YouTube channel was the video by Alexander Ivanov and Maxim Matsuk, What's Behind the Scared Glance. And the uh, common viewers shared the opinion of the jury. Now look at the screen. We would like to show you the episode from this video. My name is Alexander Ivanov. I'm Alexander Ivanov. I am 18. And I came from Donetsk. Everything started uh, in 2014. I was in school and I heard sound of uh, aircraft and the shelling of the Donetsk airport started. Then I 
moved to the village near Mariupol and for three months we lived peacefully then. Some military equipment and personnel came. First, people had some problems with, um, with the military and uh, now I understand that there is cooperation and uh, a lot uh, has been broken by war people who stayed there. They do not feel united with the other people. And now the main problem is that people, they got accustomed to war and they started to forget about IDPs. We do not know what is going on in their souls. And uh, we should help those who are in need because no one knows who, what is behind the scared glance. Applause. Thank you for this video. It brings real emotions of those people who were forced to leave their houses. Now, dear friends, I would like to invite all the winners to Europa Plus uh, Studio that is in the Maidan Nezalezhnosti Square and invite you to join and to share experience whether it was difficult to create this video about such a difficult topic. And we will have short interview and you will get presents that motivated you to do your best. And the prizes will be provided by Joel in the studio in Maidan Square. We invite everyone. And uh, I would like to state that uh, uh, Europa uh, Plus Station um, invite all the journalists or journalists to be invite you to join the initiative that <coughs> is now in the center in Sofia, St. Sophia Square and uh, the uh, Eurovision zone. And uh, today and during Easter holidays, Kiev Day and also the Eurovision contest in Ukraine, we will have an, uh, such a studio in uh, uh, Sofia Square in Vladimirsky. Uh, LA between Sofia and Mikhailovsky. Um, there is a studio. This is a new format for journalists, and the studio is uh, called Folk FM Station, and this is only uh, for the center of the city that is in the uh, fun zone of the Eurovision that starts starting um, Easter holidays. And uh, this is an interesting experience um, because. Uh, uh, video, it has its own dynamics and uh, um, direct uh, um, broadcasting is different. And um, it uh, provides opportunity to directly communicate with people. And this is an interesting experience. And people can be in the center. They uh, see the traditions of Ukrainian people. They uh, see what you propose to them, and they provide their energy, and you feel responsibility. You see people whom you inform uh, right at that uh, side. So uh, for FEM, provide this experience. Please join us, and I will provide uh, contacts and our editors will help you and uh, um, in order that your ideas be heard in the center of uh, the city. Several uh, million of people, they uh, will be there. And during holidays, these are not only Kievans, but uh, the um, guests from around Ukraine will go to visit the exhibition. And then there will be uh, embroidery shirt uh, exhibition, then the Eurovision, then it will be Kiev Day. And there will be a lot of people. So uh, uh, welcome. and. Uh, uh, we are grateful that people want to create uh, information space, and uh, to, um, we w would like to thank our partners, story maker, and founders. And we invite uh, to Europlus at Maidan Zelazhny Square.